uh, uh, older even than the Monroe Doctrine, uh, and it essentially uh, uh, permitted or 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 sanctioned uh, the regarding of the native peoples of the Americas as a, an inferior race. Uh, yet the Pope managed this year to finally uh, discard and uh, the the uh, the doctrine of discovery. Could you talk about that? Coincidentally, in 1823, the year that the Monroe Doctrine was enunciated, um, you also had a Supreme Court decision uh, through the Marshall Court uh, that decided that through uh, you know this process of Cherry Creek removal, you have the influx of white settlers into the state of Georgia. You have uh, Chief Justice John Marshall declaring that the United States had inherited the doctrine of discovery or the discovery principle from previous colonizing powers. And in this case, he traces it back to the Holy See or the Catholic Church. Um, but this sort of process of uh, colonization and what could only be described as ideologies of brutality really originates mostly from the founding fathers themselves. They use these, you know, this doctrine of the doctrine of discovery as sort of a made up excuse to colonize indigenous peoples. But if you go back to somebody like Thomas Jefferson, you know, when he was debating uh, what this new empire of liberty would look like, he envisioned this empire expanding through the western hemisphere and having a global influence. And during the debates about what the constitution would look like, there were two sort of primary enemies that the United States was worried about in, 18, in the 1880s when it was writing its constitution. And that was the indigenous nations on the western frontier as well as competing European powers. And so when the United States begins to form its military, it uses a tax levy system to basically raise its standing army. Um, this was a, an idea from Alexander Hamilton, who saw the dual threats of European influence as well as indigenous nations on the western frontier. Um, and this begins sort of the process of looking at, you know, to quote the Declaration of Independence, the merciless Indian savages uh, on the western frontier, but also looking at the rest of uh, the hemisphere. The, na the, the treaties that Thomas Jefferson uh, signed or that he encouraged to be signed with indigenous nations essentially tried to bind them to the United States so that they couldn't make treaties with other European powers. And that same principle applied to uh, the Western Hemisphere. And, you know, it's important to, to point out that in 1823, the United States was a relatively small nation compared to its present-day form. So... In 1823, the Monroe Doctrine is aligning itself with the doctrine of discovery as sort of this imperialist, expansionist ideology um, that we can see, you know, the effects of today. So, Nick, uh, 